Hello Aquarius, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Northern Canada. Um, thank you so much Aquarius for your comments. They've just been beautiful. Thank you for your support. Thank you for just everything. It's just so encouraging to hear from you and to get to know you. Uh, let's get on with your reading. We're going to start off this week with a message coming in. Uh, one that you can be rather passionate about. It, this could be a message of an offer. Maybe it's a date. Maybe you've got more dates and you're wondering. You've got all kinds of choices, options. Like this doesn't look like a confusion as much as it looks like being a little bit smug. Like, oh my, oh my. I wonder if, who I should go out with, who I should settle on, what job to take. I don't think it's as, tri as trivial as what show to go watch. Something more to do with, you know, she's got that dreamy look in her face. Romantic. I had a thought there and it just vanished from my brain. Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> this is really not important at all. I was just going to say that she reminds me of actually me when I was younger and being chased. Um, there was a time, and I mean, I was just like in the thick of my career. I had no time to settle down. I had to, to, to work. And I was also a, a single parent. So I focused on raising my kids, but before I had the kids, um, I went out on two dates in one night. I was like, it just happened that way. You know, I was single. You know, I didn't have to commit to anyone. And then I realized, oh boy, I made a, a date with two different people on the same night. So maybe that's it. Aquarius. Aquarius. It wouldn't surprise me. It just wouldn't surprise me from an Aquarian. We have the green man here, so we've got some really good stuff happening around you. Whatever you've been up to, projects, work, you have shown a, a, a sense of accomplishment in, in the environment around you. You've added to the environment around you uh, rather than using the resources you've been You've been the resource. You're being shone, shined down on by the green man. You can actually see his face in just about every bush you look in if you look hard enough. These people are really happy with their job. Rejoicing in the harvest. The harvest. You've got a lot to be thankful for, Aquarius. You've been working very, very hard. And you're becoming a master craftsman here. You do really good work. You're very conscientious, meticulous. It's beautiful, beautiful work you've done. In fact, you probably earned a vacation. This is you retreating. I don't think I'm going to accept any dates tonight. <laughs> Not even one. I'm going to rest. I'm going to lay down by the river and rest. There's a loon out in the, in the river there singing to you. Loons have such a tranquil, tranquil sound. While you're resting, though, it shows that you're guarded. You're being guarded. 
You look so relaxed there, though. You know, like, it's like a, an inner knowing of yourself. And this is about going inside, inner, inner reflection. It's, you're happy with yourself. You feel good about yourself. You've got abundance coming in with love happiness joy this is one of the most incredible cards to me to get this is heaven sent overflowing love not only that it's your very wish and dream come true this is your card aquarius this is you and this fairy is opening the gate what she is doing let me take a closer look here lovely how she does that pouring the water but it is about opening up the way to that star the sustenance to lead to that star which I, I'm guessing that's your wish your wish fulfillment would be a deep abiding love Perhaps you're involved with an earth sign, but there's someone in your life who is pragmatic, logical, grounded. He can be a bit withheld too. He's a boss. He likes to run a tight ship. There are some hidden things, Aquarius, that are being revealed. The moon is shining on you. It's shining in the water. It's smiling at you. And what it has revealed is a gift jumping out of the water. Look, how many fish do you see jumping out of the water at midnight? Beautiful energy. The world tree. You've gained a lot of knowledge in this last cycle. The crane is about fertility too. This, the adder or serpent is wound around the roots of the tree. It's all about knowledge, the knowledge that you've gained. And this knowledge you've gained has rooted that tree more solidly, more confidently. And in completing this cycle, it's you've earned the right of passage to go in any direction that you want. And finally, and this one is, you know, down below the, the moon card. But here's the high priestess. She uses lunar energy. She draws down lunar energy into, through her wand, into the pot of water. Those are acacia flowers. She's standing in a circle with stones for protection. The lunar energy being brought down is to turn that water into holy water so that the village can drink it. Or village use it as holy water to bless them. This is also about not everything being revealed at this time, and that is for your own good. The universe is guiding you. You're, on, you're walking your path, your destiny, Aquarius. You just never disappoint me. Never. Your readings are always, oh, they're almost surreal and magical. There's a magic quality in these readings I have for you that I've done in the last few weeks. They're quite amazing. So we're going to clarify these cards. Then I'll be taking it over to the website for a complete reading and more decks. And if you join as a member, I know that other readers will offer an extended reading for $10. 
and that's just one reading, one extended. I'm offering all the extended readings with all these zodiacs and the afternoon delights for $4.99 a month. You can unsubscribe at any time. Also, too, because it's a brand new site, brand spanking new. It's only a couple of weeks old, but. Um, and thank you to the members who have joined. It's such a pleasure to see you over there and talk with you there. Uh, uh, you can ask a question while the numbers are still low. The first 200 are getting in for $4.99. After that, I'll raise the price. And I probably at that point may not be able to answer all of the questions with a card. But as a member, feel free to ask a question. And I will reply with a card pull. I'll pull a card and, and reply to your comment or question. All right. And that'll be at the website, thejourneyhome.ca. Everything's in the description. And yes, I still do personal readings. I have a feeling, though, that th this has grown so quickly for me. And I, I, I can't thank everyone enough for how quickly it has grown that uh, I may have to, uh, one of these days, give up doing personal readings, except for really important ones or emergency ones because of, uh, I think I I would rather uh, answer those comments with a card pull as long as I can. All right, enough about me. So sorry I went on and on like that. I am not very good at promoting myself. I'm good at everything else, just not that. And YouTube said, well, you know, you can advertise and you make money that way. And and we take 45%. I'm like, no, I'd rather advertise for myself. Except I'm not that great at it. Aquarius, let's clarify this for you before we head over. And it's started. So this page of wands is going to be clarified by the five of swords, which is about uh, bickering, arguing, control issues. Wanting you to do one thing that goes against your grain. And it could be well-meaning. This could be family, friends that are advising you. And it's not good advice, not for Aquarius. But Aquarius, you've got your own mind. You've always had your own mind. You're very strong that way. Again, this confusion. All right, I never said this was about confusion. I said this was about choices because of the look on her face. Like, who should I go out with tonight kind of thing. But this says, this is the moon card. It's the same as the moon card down here. There are some things being, the light is being shed on some things that were hidden. This will bring you out of this confusion or to help you make a choice. Right now, the advice to you would be, because you are confused and don't know what choice to make, do nothing. If you are in doubt, do nothing. The universe has a beautiful way of unfolding and revealing for things to work out beautifully. The next is the Seven of Wands for the Green Man. Isn't this lovely? Not only are you enjoying the fruits of your labors, enjoying family, enjoying uh, a home life, you're, you're having fun. This is playful energy. You know, uh, your friends and family can come at you with just about anything they want, you know, as far as practical jokes or joking around, or chiding. And you've got, look, your wand is much more in bloom than theirs. They can't outwit you, can't outsmart you, and they can't outprank you. Your harvest is going to be clarified with, oh, okay. So this looks to me like UPS coming in with like an Amazon parcel. No, I'm kidding. But there is fast energy coming in. Answers, offers, problem solving. It could be someone also that's too over exuberant. Yeah, yeah, let's do it this way. Yeah, yeah, this will be perfect. And you're like, no, no, it, it's all, we got it done. Never mind. 
there is an offer of help here. And though he's a, I always call him my bumbling knight, because, because he's like a bull in a china shop sometimes, but he does have really, really good ideas. And he does mean well. Like, he wants to just save everybody. Wait there, I'll be coming right over to save you. No, it's okay, I'm good. Seven of Pentacles is going to be clarified by the Hermit. So you're giving this a great deal of thought what you're working on, whether that's business or relationship. You are giving it a great deal of thought and care. A lot of care going into this. I'm so sorry about Chloe snoring in the background if you can hear her. I know if I don't apologize for her, then people start commenting. There's someone snoring in the background. Um, so sorry about that. She's she's just old. And she can be very rude too. Poor Sagittarius got fluffed. Anyway, sorry anyway. Carrying on. This is the left side of the brain being lit from the right side of the brain. The hermit, that's also a Virgo, could be a Virgo you're dealing with. This is Earth Energy, both of these cards. <laughs> I was going to say Virgo. Hermit, the hermit, takes the light from the right side of the brain, puts it in his lantern to light the way for the left side of the brain. The right side of the brain, of course, is like creativity that's connected to source. Um, the uh, spiritual side of us. <laughs> Sorry. Shh, Chloe. Um, the spiritual side of us. The right side of the brain is ruled by the emperor and the empress, and it's through them that the light comes in, or the information comes in from the spirit world, usually when we're sleeping, or ideas, when we're imagining and brainstorming and come up with ideas that comes from the right side your little retreat listening to the loon the loon's a lullaby looks like you're dreaming about that ten of pentacles the completion the legacy the yeah your legacy dreaming of your le legacy the empire you want to build the grandchildren you can have on your knee and play your children, your animals, your home, your car. You're having you're having a lot of thoughts about the possibility the possibilities of of acquiring that. Or that you are acquiring it and you're just laying down for a rest so grateful we're going to clarify this love offer this bounty of love and joy with three of wands and it looks like you've made a choice here and you are going to reap big rewards from it Let's clarify your wish card, the Aquarian card with, well, I doubt very much that you're wishing for sadness, but you're wishing for an end to that sadness. You're wishing that the two cups that weren't spilled, that they're the two cups to complete the ten. And the star is clearing away for you. Clarify the King of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. So if you're wishing for a, an earth sign or a person who's taken on these energies, uh, it also symbolizes stability, uh, being a boss. Uh, but that's wish fulfillment. Perhaps you're wishing that the King of Pentacles makes an offer well that wish will come to come true too again these energies can be reversed this could be about a female not a male but a female taking on these energies see the queen of pentacles is more reserved and withdrawn this guy's a boss 
perhaps this is about your job, a business you're in, your own business. But I still, yeah, it's still involving another person who's helpful because even in business, this person is gives good advice. The moon's going to be clarified by the world again. This is your second world card, isn't it? Yeah, well, that was the green man. Am I in the wrong reading here? I could have sworn. No, I'm in the wrong reading. No, I'm not. There it is. It's down here. This is the same as the world card. This is the world tree. But with this world card, you see the green man in the middle. Earth energy. This is you, the fool, all grown up. You've learned everything you were needed to learn in that cycle. You've learned from this and this and this. And you're in the rite of passage to go in any direction that you want. In this particular card, we have a crane, which is fertility, and this adder or serpent that is wound through the roots. This was, this is stabilized energy and wisdom that you have gained from this last cycle that you were on. So let's clarify this world card. Well, there's the Queen of Pentacles. So now we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be soulmates, uh, twin flames. When the when a king and queen come up in the same suit, in the same reading, that's a very powerful connection. If you're the Queen of Pentacles and not the King of Pentacles, you're more withdrawn. You like to take a a break from the kids, the neighbors, withdraw, take your, your picnic basket and go spend some time alone under a tree. This is a generous energy, generous, nurturing, loving, practical, saves money, keeps a jar hidden somewhere. High Priestess is going to be clarified by the Four of Wands. So perhaps you're clarifying some clarity on a problem that's going on that people are bickering about. Or maybe you're just bickering with another person. This looks more like, um, I mean, this could be playful too, but friends and family. You know, because they're wands and they're flowering. This could be playful, or it could be a little backbiting going on. But everyone's wands are blooming, so there's a lot of love. So it's probably family or friends wanting to help, perhaps. And you are like, uh, yeah, okay, good. I got this. Thanks anyway. I'm going to take this over to the journeyhome.ca Aquarius. I hope you join me there. If not, I'll see you next week or at the next afternoon. Delight meeting, reading, meeting, reading, meeting for tea. God bless you all. We'll talk again really soon. Bye for now. Oh, everything's in the description that you need. Bye bye.